gaskets, seals and well heads. Gaskets, seals and well heads. API type R ring joint gasket. The type R ring joint gasket is not energized by internal pressure. Sealing takes place along small bands of contact between the grooves and the gasket, on both the OD and ID of the gasket. The gasket may be either octagonal or oval in cross section. The type R design does not allow face to face contact between the hubs or flanges, so external loads are transmitted through the sealing surfaces of the ring. Vibration and external loads may cause the small bands of contact between the ring and the ring grooves to deform the plastic, so that the joint may develop a leak unless the flange bolting is periodically tightened. Standard procedure with type R joints in the BOP stack is to tighten the flange bolting weekly. Gaskets, seals and well heads. API type RX pressure energized ring joint gasket. The RX pressure energized ring joint gasket was developed by Cameron Iron Works and adopted by API. Sealing takes place along small bands of contact between the grooves and the OD of the gasket. The gasket is made slightly larger in diameter than the grooves, and is compressed slightly to achieve initial sealing as the joint is tightened. The RX design does not allow face-to-face -face contact between the hubs or flanges. However, the gasket has large load-bearing surfaces on the inside diameter, to transmit external loads without plastic deformation of the sealing surfaces of the gasket. It is recommended that a new gasket be used each time the joint is made up. Gaskets, seals and well heads. API type BX pressure energized ring joint gasket. Sealing takes place along small bands of contact between the grooves and the OD of the gasket. The gasket is made slightly larger in diameter than the grooves, and is compressed slightly to achieve initial sealing as the joint is tightened. Although the intent of the BX design was face-to-face -face contact between the hubs and flanges, the groove and gasket tolerances which are adopted are such that, if the ring dimension is on the high side of the tolerance range and the groove dimension is on the low side of the tolerance range, face-to-face -face contact may be very difficult to achieve. Without face-to-face -face contact, vibration, and external loads can cause plastic deformation of the ring, eventually resulting in leaks. Both flanged and clamped hub BX joints are equally prone to this difficulty. The BX gasket frequently is manufactured with axial holes to ensure pressure balance, since both the ID and the OD of the gasket may contact the grooves. In practice, the face-to-face -face contact between hubs or flanges is seldom achieved. API face-to-face -face type RX pressure energized ring joint gasket. The face-to-face -face RX pressure energized ring joint gasket was adopted by API as the standard joint for clamp hubs. Sealing takes place along small bands of contact between the grooves and the OD of the gasket. The gasket is made slightly larger in diameter than the grooves, and is compressed slightly to achieve initial sealing as the joint is tightened. Face-to-face -face contact between the hubs is ensured by an increased groove width, but this leaves the gasket unsupported on its ID. Without support from the ID of the grooves, the gasket may not remain perfectly round as the joint is tightened. If the gasket buckles or develops flats, the joint may leak. This type of gasket has not been accepted by the industry and is seldom used. CIW Type RX Pressure Energized Ring Joint Groove CIW modified the API face-to-face -face type RX pressure energized ring joint grooves to prevent any possible leaking caused by the buckling of the gasket in the API groove. The same API face-to-face -face type RX pressure energized ring joint gaskets are used with these modified grooves. Sealing takes place along small bands of contact between the grooves and the OD of the gasket. The gasket is made slightly larger in diameter than the grooves, and is compressed slightly to achieve initial sealing as the joint is tightened. The gasket ID will also contact the grooves when it is made up. This constraint of the gasket prevents any possible leaking caused by the buckling of the gasket. Hub face-to-face -face contact is maintained within certain tolerances. The maximum theoretical standoff from the stack up of the tolerances of the gasket and the groove is 0.022 inches. Face-to-face -face contact cannot be assured with this ring-slash-groove combination. This ring is seldom found in use.
The CX ring accomplishes the intent of the RX face-to-face -face design. Type AX and VX pressure energized ring joint gasket. The AX pressure energized ring joint gasket was developed by Cameron Iron Works. The VX ring was developed by Vetco. Sealing takes place along small bands of contact between the grooves and the OD of the gasket. The gasket is made slightly larger in diameter than the grooves, and is compressed slightly to achieve initial sealing as the joint is tightened. The ID of the gasket is smooth and is almost flush with the hub bore. Sealing occurs at a diameter which is only slightly greater than the diameter of the hub bore, so the axial pressure load on the connector is held to an absolute minimum. The belt at the center of the gasket keeps it from buckling or cocking as the joint is being made up. The OD of the gasket is grooved. This allows the use of retractable pins or dogs to positively retain the gasket in the base of the wellhead or riser connector when the hubs are separated. The gasket design allows face-to-face -face contact between the hubs to be achieved with minimal clamping force. External loads are transmitted entirely through the hub faces and cannot damage the gasket. CIW Type CX Pressure Energized Ring Joint Gasket The CX Pressure Energized Ring Joint Gasket was developed by Cameron Iron Works. Sealing takes place along small bands of contact between the grooves and the OD of the gasket. The gasket is made slightly larger in diameter than the grooves, and is compressed slightly to achieve initial sealing as the joint is tightened. The gasket is patterned after the AX and VX gasket, but is recessed, rather than being flush with the well bore, for protection against keys eating. The gasket seals on approximately the same diameter as do the RX and VX gaskets. The belt at the center of the gasket keeps it from buckling or cocking as the joint is being made up. Since the CX gasket is protected from keys eating, it is suitable for use through the bop and riser system, except at the base of the wellhead and riser connectors. The gasket design allows face-to-face -face contact between the clamp hubs or flanges to be achieved with minimal clamping force. External loads are transmitted entirely through the hub faces and cannot damage the gasket. Application of Type AX, VX, and CX Pressure Energized Ring Joint Gaskets The AX, VX, and CX Face-to-Face -face Pressure Energized Ring Gaskets allow face-to-face -face contact between the hubs to be achieved with minimal clamping force. The AX and VX gasket is used at the base of the wellhead and riser connector when the hubs are separated. The AX slash VX design ensures that axial pressure loading on the connector is held to an absolute minimum. The AX gasket also is suitable for side outlets on the BOP stack, since these outlets are not subject to keys eating. The CX gasket is recessed for protection against keys eating. The CX gasket is suitable for use throughout the BOP and riser system, except at the base of the wellhead and riser connector.